Hi guys, uh, it's Lisa. I was just, I just put a flood coat on this piece. Um, I used quick coat from stone coat and it cures in like, starts to cure in like 15 minutes. So probably within an hour or two, I can probably start to unmold it. Um, the resin that was underneath it was still a little bit tacky, but it was, it was all right to put a second coat on. And I added two more glitter lines. Um, just to kind of, if it's going to stand up, maybe it won't show like my edges being uneven a little bit. Um, so we will see. Plus I think it looks more balanced this way. So I will go in a little bit closer here. I won't go so fast this time. Kind of look like little peacock flames, huh? And then I'm going to go over. And the sparkle. These mirror pieces really sparkle along with Laura's glitter. But if you see sparkles that are inside the paint part, the pigments, that is the bling it from Color Art. And it certainly blings it. Here's a pretty good spot of it. See it right there? All right, so I will come back when it is time to unmold it, and uh, we'll chat later. See you in a few. Bye. Okay, guys, I put the quick coat on it, and I let it sit for about 20 minutes while it was still pliable, and then I put... Um, something under it to hold the shape and then barricaded it on this side to hold the shape so now it's just a, a waiting game so we're gonna let that cure for a few more hours and uh, then I'll unmold it and then I'll put it back over the shapes again for probably two days or so so uh that's it this is my next step now the next time you see me we'll be unmolding talk to you later bye hey guys it's lisa uh, welcome back. I'm getting ready to unmold the um, little resin wave thingy that I did. <clears throat> I put a coat of um, quick coat on it just to make it a little bit thicker because my first layer was pretty thin. So I'm going to unmold it and then I'm going to put it back against these. I have them kind of laying as a mold type thing, you know, just to hold them. But it is, uh, it's cured enough. It's still flexible, but it's cured enough to at least get the mold off. If the mold comes off good, we will see. So. This is part two to my first video that I did. Um, if you didn't see part one, go back in my videos and, oh, come on. Go back in my videos and check it out. It will say part one and, uh, 
think in the title it might say inspired by Sue Finlay because that's where I seen her do this. And then I saw um, uh, Erica, Artist Till Death, try it also. So you can go check them guys out too. Uh, let me make sure you're in camera view. might not see the whole thing because I'm going to be twisting and turning it. So I'll try to keep it in frame. I may have waited too long on, on molding. Some of the pieces are coming off real good and then some are not. because the edges are so thin and the mat did have a little bit of texture around the edge so maybe that is not helping either okay once the edges are off it seems to be coming off fine. I just gotta pop the edges. Yeah, it's the edges and then after that they seem to be coming off fine. Ouch, come on. Don't want it to ruin the mat. Up, oh, and I just ripped it. Well, glad they were two for five bucks. Guess that's all I have to say. Now this mat's not shiny on the inside, so my form is not going to be shiny. So I will um, spray this with a gloss, or I'll maybe even resin the back of it. But I want the back to be shiny too because I am going to take it a step further and I'm going to add some fairy lights on the back of this. So hopefully that'll look cool. I can't believe I just ripped this mat. Damn it. I'm going to have to put it back like on top of its mold or on top of the rollers and let it set before spraying it with anything. Oh man, this is really stuck here. I don't want to pull too hard on it because I don't want to mess up the shape, but this one's already messed up. I'm going to have to sand that off. All right, well, I messed up the mold. Not sure if it can be fixed. But there's going to be edges here where the resin was real thin and it's got real sharp spots. I put the glass down here hoping that it would have helped with this but I think I put the glass too much glass and I think that's what was sticking to the side was the glass but it'll end up being like an art piece Um, 
whoops it'll end up being an art piece that like sits on a shelf kind of like that and uh, I'm going to hang on one second here let me get it a little closer so you can see a little bit more detail in it. And then I'm going to end up, uh, I'm going to let it cure for just a little bit. I don't know, probably another uh, five hours. And then I'm going to take a glue gun. Why does this keep falling? I'm going to take a glue gun and I'm going to add some uh, fairy lights on it. But before I do that, I'll have to spray the back because, like I said, if you want, if you do resin in a mold and you want shiny on both sides, of course the side with the resin on it you know on the top is going to be shiny but if you want it shiny on the bottom of your mold too and you're shopping for molds then what see it's still pliable so I gotta straighten it out here then what you want to do is you want to get a mold You want to get a mold that is shiny. See this one is dull. So if this mold was shiny on the inside, then then this part would have been so shiny. Like uh, let me see here. Bear with me. Here's a mold. See how it's shiny here? If you put the mold in here, it's going to be dull because this part's dull. But this mold is made to put the resin in here on this side, okay? And if you see, see how the inside of it is shiny? So as long as your mold is shiny on the inside, then you're going to have shiny resin on the outside and inside. This damn light. I hope that made sense. Okay, so I will end up putting these lights on it. And hopefully it looks cool. Let me see. Let me get rid of some of these lights here. Let's see if we can see them. Yeah, I should be able to see through it some, somewhat. So yeah, I'll just put it in more transparent spots. But, I might just run it through the middle, I don't know, I might just sand these and just put it like right on the tops, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I am going to do this, I'm going to put some fairy lights on it, but I do have to get this back on the mold because it's starting to straighten out on me. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I will, uh, this is going to be the last part of the video for this particular piece. I will, in a few days, once I have this on and it all sanded and stuff, I will post it, like, at the end of another video that I do. 
so they can see the end result or I'll just um, just post a couple pictures of it like in a couple of the groups that I'm in but yeah so uh, let me get a close-up here <clears throat> I think it turned out really pretty um, let's see what we can do here hang on one second all right let me turn these lights back on whoops all right let me get you in on a close-up hang on let me get this out of the Other thing. So yeah, that blue and the magenta. It really looks cool. I'm gonna put a little light behind it. Maybe that'll help illuminate it so you guys can see it better. steady hand tonight do I see all the glitter and you can see this transparent that's throughout it because you can see through it so yeah I like it I like it a lot So yeah, there you go. There's a resin wave for you. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.